Hello everyone, welcome back to Torque News YouTube channel where we dive deep into the wild world of cars, EV technology and everything Elon Musk is cooking up. I'm your host Armin Haryan. today's Wednesday is August 6, 2025. Buckle up because I've got some juicy news straight from the experts. Tesla is gearing up to roll out over 100 plus autonomous model Y vehicles for a ride hailing service in San Francisco Bay Area. But here's the twist. There is a catch. Let's break it down, chat about some reactions from X Crowd, and spe uh, speculate on what this means for the future and let's dive in. So picture this. You are in the San Francisco Bay Area. You whip out your phone and bam, you can request a ride in a Tesla Model Y that's driving itself. That's the vision Elon Musk dropped in a tweet at 5.31 a.m. this morning today. Yes, he is up early tweeting. He said Tesla is working as quickly as possible, that was a quote, to get 100 plus of these autonomous beauty electric vehicles operational. But there is the kicker. California regulations won't let them call it a taxi or cab because, well, the traditional taxi industry has its claws deep in the system. So what do we call it? A Tesla autonomous autonomous experience initiative shout out to veritas solum on x for that clever suggestion <clears throat> so but seriously this is huge the bay area could be the testing ground for tesla's dream of self of a self-driving ride hailing network and timing wise look it's perfect the 2026 Super Bowl is happening right there at Levi Stadium. So imagine the hype of these cars are zipping around, shutting fans to the game. Keith Brown from X uh, on uh, pointed that out and saying smart cookies. But hold on a second. Let's not uh, get too, too excited about this yet. Why? Because this isn't the fully autonomous, no, no human needed level for autonomy system Elon's being promising. It has been promising since like 2019. No, nope, that's it. Still supervised full self-driving FSD, meaning a human's got to keep an eye on things. Taylorsville EV on X nailed it saying it's just FSD supervised LOL. The only thing they need is drivers. Ouch, a little shade there, right? Now, let's talk about the elephant in the room, regulations. Regulations is the main element elephant in the room, friends. This isn't a production issue. Tesla's churning out model-wise like candy down the road in Fremont. Alan Dial on X asked, how long could that take? And Sawyer Merritt, who brought this news from Elon Musk's tweet, actually he, he took a picture of Elon Musk's tweet and uh, shared with his Twitter. He said, I don't think it's a production issue, but a regulatory one. And he's spot on. The California DMV and Public Utilities Commission have Tesla jumping through hoops. Waymo's already got 300, 400 driverless cars on the road with proper permits, while Tesla's still waiting for the green light to go fully autonomous. Now, Green the Options uh, said, uh, actually, he even warned, saying this isn't as positive as people might think. Regulations are holding them back and can um, do that indefinitely if bureaucrats want to. Well, what can I say? That's a sobering take, right? But here is where it gets interesting. If Tesla pulls this off, even with supervised FSD, it could be a game changer. Why? Imagine the Super Bowl crowd using these cars with Elon Musk tweeting uh, live updates. And who knows, maybe this is the stepping stone to that robotaxi fleet he's been hyping. Dajit Gov on uh, Tesla uh, also, uh, and actually on uh, X, uh, also shared some cool um, pictures of Model Y near Levi's, uh, Levi's Stadium, saying looks ready for the spotlight. So what do you think, friends? Is this a bold move towards the future 
or just another Elon Musk promise that's still a work in progress? Well, he tweeted about that this morning. Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. I want to hear from you. And hey, if you are in the Bay Area in San Francisco, keep an eye out for those Model Ys. Maybe you will be the one of the first people to hitch a ride. And um, so before we wrap up, a quick shout out to Near Me Mike saying, who asked uh, in uh, Twitter or X, when Austin Robo Taxi Fleet will be available for the general public? When? That's a good question. Texas has loose regulations, so maybe we'll see action there sooner. And shout out to Impart on X, who said this will be a good start. And then I personally agree with that. It's a start, but the real test is getting past those regulations. That's all for today, friends. That's for this episode at torquenews.com. Please visit us there. And if you love uh, this deep dive, smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell so you never miss an update from torquenews.com. Share this with your friends who are interested in Tesla news or just love a good tech drama. Until then, stay curious, and I'll catch you in the next one. God bless you, everyone. I'll see you soon in our next report.